everybody, welcome to Beautiful Nursing's five minutes or less series on fetal positions, presentation, and stations. And today I have my co-host Gina. <laughs> so what even is fetal presentation? Fetal presentation is the part of the fetus that enters the pelvic inlet first. So this here is a maternal pelvis, and he, this here is Gina. Gina is gonna be showing us how she's gonna to present to the world. This fetal presentation of Gina coming out head first is the most preferred. So then if Miss Gina was coming buttocks or feet first out of the pelvic inlet, meaning that this is the first thing we're gonna see when she is born and birthed to the world, that means she is breech, breech bad, breech bad. Remember the bees, breech bad. Next way that Gina could present to the world is scapula, so shoulder first. First thing I'm gonna see when the baby is being born is her shoulder. Mentum, the first thing coming through that pelvis is chin first. So again, fetal presentation is just which way that Gina is going to present to the world first. Okay guys, so you're probably going to see all these different letters, R-O-T, L-O-A, um, all those stand for different things. So we are going to go through in different steps on what those mean and how you can figure out by looking at a baby or looking at a picture on an exam, what position the baby is in. Step one is where the first letter is going to be an R or an L. So you're asking yourself, is the presenting part on the left or right side of the maternal pelvis? So as you guys see here, here's the maternal pelvis. Let's say the baby is going head first, so occiput. So is the baby going to be turned to the right or left side of the maternal pelvis? R or L. Step two, you want to figure out what the presenting part is. So what part of the baby is going to be first presented to the world. Is it going to come buttocks first? Is it going to come head first? So again, that's looking at occiput or head first, sacrum, buttocks or feet first, mentum, chin first, or scapula, shoulder first. Okay, and then finally step three, you usually see the letters A, P, or T. A for anterior, P for posterior, and T for transverse. Is the baby's back towards mother's belly, anterior, back towards the mother's spine, posterior, or sideways. Anterior is the baby's back towards the mother's belly. This right here is the front, right? This is the front of the mother, this is the back. If it's anterior, that means it's back, is going to be towards the front of the mother. Gina, again, is Gina's back towards the mother's spine, so they're aligned together posterior back. Gina's back is towards mama's spine. Instead of Gina being anterior or posterior, Gina is going to be transverse, so she's going to be sideways. So let's talk about fetal station. What is fetal station? The fetal station is the relationship of the presenting part, so this could be the head or the buttocks, to the maternal ischial spines, and that measures the degree of descent of the fetus, so how far the fetus has descended down the maternal pelvis, how soon the baby is going to be coming out. Here's the maternal pelvis. So if I turn it over, you can see these two little spiky parts right here. These are the ischial spines. And so we're just looking at how fast the baby is descending down the maternal pelvis in order to be born. Here is the maternal pelvis. I turned it around so you guys can see the ischial spines right here. And if Gina is up here, that means she is negative. She's above the ischial spines. So if she is descending down the birth canal, she is going to become more positive. And once her head or her foot, whatever the presenting part of Gina is, once it reaches the ischial spine, so it's right at the ischial spine, that is when she is at zero. Gina continues to make her way down the birth canal. She is going to become more positive. Negative, 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 negative. Oh, neutral, neutral, neutral. Positive, 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 positive. All right, guys, I hope you learned something. Thank you so much for watching. Me and Gina just want to say please subscribe for more, more is to come. And also check out beautifulnursing.com because there is a lot of notes, free tools, advice, anything to help you pass nursing school. So bye, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Good job, Gina.